Hi students, hope everyone is fine and safe. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to my new video. And today's video is about another interesting topic in unit 4. We're going to see execution of a complete instruction and how the branch instruction is getting executed. Okay. In previous video, we have seen just how the processor fetch a word from the memory and how it stores the word from the memory. Right. Here, what we are going to do is we are going to see how the complete execution of the instruction is going to take place. Okay. And this is very important question in this particular unit. Okay. And now we'll see how to execute a branch instruction. Okay. So what is in the branch instruction? First of all, branch instruction in the sense, right? There will be one particular instruction. It will branch to another instruction, right? It will branch to a target address. That is, for example, you have something called a branch instruction, branch, and it will have some address, for example, loop. Right. So what it will do is from here, it will move to that particular loop and it will start executing that particular instruction. For example, if it is add R1, R2. Okay. So this is the branch instruction, right, which is taking the instruction, the content of the instruction to this particular, this particular address, right. So this is target address. This is target address. You want to understand very carefully. Right. So this is branching instruction. This branching instruction, what it will do is it will get to the target address because that is the one which has to be executed next. Right. Right. So this is called as branching instruction. It can also be like this. Right. It can also go here downwards. Right. Go to the next one. Correct. Right. So here the PC here. What is the normal operation of PC? The PC will execute the instruction one by one. Correct. From PC. And then PC plus 4 and then PC plus 8. Like that it will be incremented. Correct. But for branch instruction, the PC has to be loaded with the target address. Right. It should not go to the next instruction here. For example, if it is executing the branch instruction. Right. Then what it has to do, it has to execute this particular instruction. Right. The target address, the instruction which is in the target address. So the PC has to load this particular content. Right. The PC has to have this particular instruction, right? So, for executing the branch instruction, it is very important that it has to, it has to find out the target address, right? Where it has to move, which address it has to execute, right? So, that has to be find out, right? That can be find out by using the offset value, right? What it has to do, it has to add the offset value with the PC value, right? So the program counter value so that we'll get the next instruction which is going to be executed. That is the target address. We can able to get the target address. Okay. That is, you understand very carefully, that is something called unconditional branching. Right. Unconditional branching. For example, if it is executing a particular address location, 2000. Okay. Now, right. What will be the target address? Listen very carefully. The target address will be 2050. 2000. 50. Okay. Right. So from this particular address location, it has to move to this particular address location. Right. For the next instruction. So the PC, which is executing the 2000, right, must execute the next instruction, which is 2050. Right. Which is on the address location. Clear with that. Right. This is called as branching instruction. Okay. So now how this 2050 will be calculated? The PC value is 2000 plus offset value. You have offset value as for example, it will have 46. Okay. So if you add this one, right? So what will happen? You'll get you'll get the next instruction which is getting executed. 2050. Right. You can very clearly get one particular doubt. That is a 2000 plus 46. I'll get only 2046. Why is that you're mentioning as 250? Right. You have to be very clear here. Right. Normally, what we do, right? Well, PC, once the instruction is fetched. Right. It will move to the next instruction. Correct. Right. So normally what we are doing is we are executing the PC value which we are, which are using here to get the, the branch address. Right. That is a branch target address. Right. Which is the, not the original PC value, which is the PC plus 4 value, the updated value. Because already once it is executed, the PC will move to the next content. Correct. Right. So for, 
for finding out the target address what we are doing is we are using the updated pc value be very clear right and you can also understand in this manner the x the offset value is usually the difference between the target address right difference between the target address you can see this is the target address 2050 target address and the address immediately following the branch instruction right what is the address immediately following the branch instruction you can see this is the branch instruction correct from here it moves to the 2050 right but what we are saying here is the difference between the branch target address and the address immediately following the branch instruction. Immediately following the branch instruction will be 2004. Correct. So, the difference between these two will be 2000, that is 46. Correct. That is how you have to determine the offset value. Clear? Right. So, now while executing the branch instruction, right, the PC has to add this offset value to find out the target address. Okay, right. Now I will explain that the same exp same expression here. Okay, what is that? You'll have some offset value. You'll have some offset value, right? For branch instruction, understand very clearly. You'll have a lot of instruction one by one, right? And from this instruction, why it is executing? This is called a branch instruction. If this instruction is executed, right? This instruction from this instruction, it has you should not go to the next one. What it has to do? It has to go to the Next address, this, this particular target address, this is the target address, okay. So, how will you find out the target address? The PC now find out the target address here, right. So, the content of PC has to add the offset value, right, to find out the target address, right. And that is what we are going to explain here, right. So, you can see here the first three thing, right. The first three thing is same, Everything is same, correct? That is fetch phase. What I said, the same instruction, PC, the MAR, right? And then read cycle is initiated and that particular instruction will be reaching the IR, right? And similarly, what it will do, it will initiate and it will update the PC value, right? PC in, PC plus 4, right? So, PC IR and PC plus 4. I have already explained this, correct? Right? So, this is same. And now the instruction reaches the IR. What is the instruction? Offset value. You have to find out the branch address. Okay. Right. Now what will happen here? Offset value. You can see here there is an offset field. There is an offset field. Okay. Now what will happen here? We already know. Now the PC, the content of the PC. You know that the content of the PC, how it will reach the B. Correct. I can already explain the content of the PC will already reach the B. Correct. Right. Now, what will happen? Right. You have something called offset value. Right. The offset value will reach, will reach the A. Right. Now, the offset value plus PC will be added and will be sent to the ZN. Right. And then from ZN, it will send to the Z out and then again PC in. Now, the PC in is nothing but it will have the, the target address. What is the target address? The PC value plus the offset value. Got it? Right? So, this is executing a branch instruction. Right? And once again, you have to understand very clearly here, we are not using here, we are not using the original value here. What we are using? We are using the updated value. Correct? Which is in the YN. Correct? Right? And that is why this particular construction, 246, 2046, right? The difference between 2004 and 2050. Clear with this? Okay, this is the this is the example of executing a branch instruction. Okay, same steps. All the thing is PC should not execute the next instruction. It has to execute the instruction which is which is given as a target address. So in order to find out the target address, we have to add the content of offset with the PC. Right, that is the logic. Okay, right. As I said here, you can see the X used in the branch instruction is usually the difference between the target address and address following the branch instruction. The immediate address following the branch instruction. You can see here the branch instruction is 2000, right? And the target address is 2050, right? But the offset value is 46. That is 2004 plus, that is 2004 and 2050. That difference is 2046. That's because you can see PC is incremented in fetch phase. So, we are using the updated PC value, 
not the original PC value. Correct? Okay, so this is called unconditional branching. Right, there is something called conditional branching. So what is conditional branching? You know already, right? There should be some condition. Only if that condition is satisfied, it will go, right? If that condition is not satisfied, it will be ending that particular operation, right? For example, you can see here, if this particular instruction is executed, okay, you can see here everything is same, add, okay, is it in, right? But if n is equal to 0, if n is equal to 0, then you don't want to execute that particular instruction, that is the end. Okay, it will complete that particular operation. Only if it is n has some value. For example, if n is equal to 1, right, it will perform, it will go to the step 5, right. The same steps which we have seen, okay. If it is n is equal to 0, then it will end. Which means, this is called conditional branching. Only if the condition is satisfied, it has to execute that particular instruction. Okay, so today what we have seen is, we have seen how to execute a complete instruction and how to execute... Uh, branching instruction okay there is two different logic you want to understand those two logics so so that you can able to write by yourself right so don't get confused with a lot of programs lot of instructions if you understand the logic you can write it by yourself okay right thank you students thank you students thank you for watching kandipa in the video useful subscribe passionate professor and keep learning thank you very much